Hey there everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Kayla. I have an eight-year-old son named Shane who has autism and this is my space where I share everything I know about autism in hopes of improving some of the lives of families living with it. Today I'm going to share with you seven tips, things that I do every single year as I help my son Shane get ready to go back to school. Going back to school is incredibly difficult for many autism families simply because we are breaking the routine. We had to break the routine to get them out of school and now they're on this more relaxed summer vibe and now we need to to introduce a new routine and then on top of that it's a new teacher with a new classroom maybe even a new school it can be incredibly hard for everybody involved so here are my seven tips that could help number one talk with your child about what to expect I know that sounds really straightforward, but many parents get really caught up in the stress and anxiety surrounding back to school and they forget to take some time to just talk to their child. Explain to them that they are entering a new grade or even a new classroom, maybe even a new school, what is going to be expected of them, how things will be different, will there be new kids in the class. Just open the lines of dialogue with your child about what to expect in the first weeks of school. Number two, as you're starting to open up that dialogue, you can use a physical calendar, which has been incredibly helpful for me and Shane in many different situations, that helps you to count down the days before school starts. So two weeks before school starts, I'll just go online, I'll print off a, a calendar for August, and I'll start Xing out each day as we count down the days to the first day of school. It's very visual and it's also physical. Shane will often help me do the little X's as the days pass by. And it helps him to anticipate the first day of school and sort of getting excited about that and actually understand the time frame um, and what as to what we're getting ready for. Number three is routine. Our kids love routine and you know what, whatever your morning and evening routine is around school, that needs to be implemented at least two weeks prior to your child going back to school. For me and Shane, Two weeks before we start to you know do our homework at night we do a little bit of reading and writing uh, you know in the morning i get him up at the same time that he would be getting ready to get on the bus i try to get as close to the school routine so that it's not a shock to him when it's like okay get up let's go we got to get ready for that bus number four show your child some pictures of the school better yet if you're able to actually take them to the school especially if it's a brand new school if you're able to show them their classroom even better you can even email the teacher or the um, school administrator and ask like, is it possible to get a couple pictures of the school just so that you can familiarize your child with the environment prior to them going. We've done this many times as Shane started at new schools and with new teachers and he found it very helpful to know his teacher's name and have a visual image of them prior to the first day of school. It relieved a lot of stress and it was actually pretty fun for me to be able to, uh, you know, be part of his first day of school prior to him actually starting. Number five is something that I do whenever Shane is going to be interacting with a new educator. I simply write a decent sized email outlining Shane's strengths, his weaknesses, and basically how his autism affects his day-to-day -day life. This allows them to have an outline of your child and understand some of the things that may trigger their autism and some behaviors that you may not want them to have. And if they have the knowledge prior to meeting your child, maybe they can actually um, stop these things from happening before they do. So it's just a simple email that you send out to the teacher or you know if there's a teacher's aide in the classroom just letting them know a little bit about your child and their autism number six use a social story I know many of you have heard me talk about social stories on this channel and how effective they've been for me and my son Shane and I really really recommend them especially for going back to school just a simple story that outlines what is going to be expected of them and what new experiences they may encounter can really go a long way in helping them adjust more easily on the first day you can create your own social story uh, you can purchase one I have actually have one that I created and use on regularly, but I'll link that one below. But literally you can find them online or just scribble on a piece of paper if you have to. But a social story could definitely help with your first day back to school. Number seven is something that I struggle with on a regular basis, um, not just with my son, but in life in general. But manage your own anxiety surrounding the situation. I know going back to school is tough and especially if it's your child's first year at school i remember what that was like and i was so anxious i didn't know if he was going to fit in i didn't know if he would do well if he'd make friends but your child feels your energy and they know when you're anxious so as much as possible manage your own anxiety prepare do everything you can and then just hope for the best I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I post videos every single week. So if you like this one, please hit the subscribe button to find out what I'm going to share next. 
I hope that you have a very smooth and easy start to the new school year. Thanks so much. Take care.